the delay in Caleb. Don't you and Caleb Plant got the same manager, Louis DeCoupos? No, no. no, uh, no uh, th this is uh, you know, you know, I get in touch with them. I manage David and Louis DeCoupos manage uh, Caleb Plant. And uh -huh. you know, just so I could clarify for all the fans, you know, uh, when they say that, you know, fighters don't want to fight this or whatever, you know, it, it's not true, you know. You know, we accepted that fight. We wanted to fight. It's all about the fighters wanting to fight the other opponents, you know. So we, uh, I even reached out to Caleb Plant. Let's make this fight happen. He does not want to make this fight. I mean, we can't make him, you know. He wants to sit down for a whole year after he wins this fight. And uh, go ahead, you know. But we, we still got uh, other fighters that want to fight, and we're going to continue fighting. But it's all about the fighter if he mm -hmm. wants to fight, if he wants to take that fight. The promoter is not going to make him fight or the, the, the manager is not going to make him fight. It has to be agreed by the fighters that they want to face each other. You know, David's 100 percent are ready to fight him and he does not want to fight him. He said he wants to unify and fight Canelo. Keep waiting. I don't think he's going to get that Canelo fight. You know, uh, he's just going to be sitting there for a whole year and Canelo's going to end up fighting Triple G. Um, <laughs> I, I think so. At the, in, in the meantime, we're just going to stay busy, you know. That's my opinion, you know. Um, I think uh, Canelo is very smart in what he's doing. I don't think he wants to fight somebody that moves around too much. I think he has problems with his knees a little bit. So I, he wants a fighter that comes forward to him a little bit so he can display a good performance, I believe. And Caleb Plant, you know, he's a very slick fighter. He moves around, and I, I think that's a fight that uh, Canelo is not going to want to take. He thinks that he wants to fight him. Why? If, if you think that he's going to fight, why not have the contract? Yeah, like he did with... Uh, right. Uh, same, um, Sanders. Sanders. Right. Hey, we got we got yeah. Sanders. We got uh, Gildrum, Sanders, Caleb Plant. Right. Right. We can see that's what uh, uh, what's his name? Um, Canelo's trying to do. You know, I don't think he wants to fight him, but mm -hmm. we want to fight whoever. You know, we're ready. Davis ready. He's been training hard. He's very motivated, very mature now. And man, he's a monster. He's a beast now. So uh, we're here to fight Charlo, whoever, whoever. We want to have those fights. Like uh, Julio Cesar Chavez, Mike Tyson, you know, Corrales, you know, the Manny Pacquiao's and all those exciting fights, you know. In yes. order to make history, you got to go that route and, and face the A, A fighters, you know, the level of uh, good op op opponents, you know. Yeah. Uh, can you take us behind the veil a little bit? Like uh, you said you accepted the fight. And because y'all y'all been going back and forth in separate videos all week. I've been week. calling. I've been calling uh, Luis de Cubas, you know. I've been uh, Kayla Plan, the whole team, you know, our promoter, Samsung. We mm -hmm. want this fight, you know. You know, but at the end of the day, I feel like if he takes a fight with me before he potentially gets a fight with Canelo, I feel like that's too much. He thinks in his head that's too much of a risk. You know, because mm -hmm. he knows what it is. He knows I ain't no fucking pushover. And I know I'm going to knock his ass out when I get him in there. Mm -hmm. So if I go in there and I take the title from him, there's big no payday. More there's no more big payday for him. You know, I feel like just him thinking he's a businessman or whatever it is he's trying to do. He's trying to make sure, you know, nothing happens to where, you know, to get in the way from that big payday. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I know if I get him in there, that title's mine. That shit's right. mine. That shit's not, I'm not leaving wherever it is without that title. His shout out to box fans, man. They like this fight night. They're excited to have you in here, man. Hey, uh, they his comeback was, and, and on I saw an interview with Fight Hype. He did an interview with Fight Hype. He said, well, you lost your opportunity because you lost your belt on the scale. Okay, so let me, let me, let me, let me go back at that, too. So he's just never going to fight me? So what you guys are saying that David has nothing to offer, David has nothing, but isn't the best supposed to fight the best? Now, I'm ranked at least top three there. So what, you guys just want to see Caleb fight fucking Truax or, you know, exactly. Andy, Mike Lee or fighting boots? There's these... Aren't they aren't don't you guys really want to see the best fight the best whether it's for a belt or not a belt Isn't that boxing shouldn't the best fight the best? You know fuck all the politics fuck all that the best should fight the best It doesn't matter what what's going on. So would you guys rather watch David Benavides fight Caleb plant or Caleb plant fight? Uh, Truex You know, what I mean, so that's not that's not even a no-brainer right there Why mm -hmm. can't we get two undefeated fighters and put our records up together like that? I think that would be a way better fight than whatever's happening now. And the other thing that he's saying, you know, also that, oh, David's been a bad boy. He has to sit down, you know. Uh, he's not disciplined. Listen, buddy, if he's not disciplined, this is your chance to beat him. Mm -hmm. You know? Hey, I mean, he's so easy, right? He's fucking <laughs> up. Let's make that fight, bro. Let's, let's do it right now. So all these excuses, you know, like I'd say, you know, 
he's going to be sitting down now. He said he has his mandatories. He's going to sit down for a whole year. He's going to see us perform and get more dangerous. And then, you know, I don't know. I don't know what he's thinking, you know. I think we should fight and make that fight happen uh, and, and get it over with, you know. And whoever wins, hey, it's, it's going to be uh, ready for the next level. And now, you know, uh, Charlo wants to fight. That's another great fight. That's a pay-per-view fight that we're very interested in it. Hopefully he doesn't back up. I think he has the balls, you know. Uh, he's a warrior. He's a good fighter. Uh, and hopefully he takes the fight and then he doesn't put any excuses, you know. So we're waiting for you, Charlo. I think uh, we're ready to go, bro. I, 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 I don't know, man. Oh, man. You know the business of boxing always takes a fighter this way, then they take them that way. You know what it's I mean? It's about the fighters who they want to fight. It's not about the promoters. It's not about really? the fighters. It's really? about the fighters, you know. If they're not scared, you know, let's do it. It's a it's a good fight. Everybody's going to win. The promoters are going to win. The fighters are going to win. The people's going to win. Let's make these fights, you know. Let's, let's go, you know. Right. 